Hello there and welcome to another How I Art video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you how I draw my hair in Manga Studio 5. So in front of us here, I have a little avatar and we are gonna take some time today to give him a little hairdo. So I have my G-Pen and I'm just gonna kinda get started drawing here. I like to start off with a little piece of hair. I'm gonna back up just a little bit so that I can see him and I'm going to just kind of cover up this left eyebrow here. So now that the hair is outlined, I'm gonna go in and detail it a little bit. Using really super light lines, I'm just gonna kinda go through. Some can be a little thicker, some can be a little thinner. I found it doesn't really matter. They just need to kind of go with the flow of, the, of that outer line. Now that that's in, it's time to put in some color. Now I've explained how I do the colors with the reference layers and, and keeping the color inside the lines. If you'd like to check out the video on that, I will have that down in the description. I compressed both the hairline here, the little ones and the big ones, and I made them into one clip by using this little combined layer tool. I have the hair on one layer and the body on the other, but I have it all in one folder so that when I grab this reference layer tool and I make that the reference layer, it'll be easy to color it in. And, and again, if you'd like to check out how I draw and how I color and how I keep those colors inside these lines really easily, um, I encourage you to check out that video. Okay, so I'm just gonna worry about the hair here, so that's all we're gonna color. We're gonna give him some brown hair because we can. Brown is a fun color to do. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn on my, my uh, do not exceed line of reference. Gonna get this all colored in. And for these little black hairs, I am just going to make it a little bit darker just to kind of give it the illusion of being a little farther back on the head. And I'm also going to do one more thing. Because there's a little bit of a crease here, I'm just going to kind of make a little darker spot here. All right, there we go. That's all done. I'm going to grab the selection tool, the auto select, and I'm going to just click it. I'm going to hold the shift when that plus comes up. I'm just gonna grab all these extra little pieces that didn't get selected on that first click and get them all in there. Then I'm going to create a layer above that and I'm gonna grab the airbrush tool here and I'm gonna select this, this top color. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna grab this darker color down here first and I'm gonna take that spray can tool and on both sides of all of these little chunks, I'm gonna make it dark. Okay, and I'm gonna make it just a little bit darker here so that now it'll show up on these. I'm gonna make the brush tool just a little smaller so that it doesn't get too cloudy. Okay, and I'm also gonna hit, make that brush size just a little bit bigger and hit these sides again here with a darker color. Alright, so at this point here, I'm going to grab this light color, make it a little bit lighter, grab that airbrush tool again, make this just a little wider for these big ones, and I'm just going to hit the middle part of these now. Okay. 
Okay, and I'm going to do it again, a little lighter color. I'm gonna hit the middle of that light layer we just laid down. This may seem like a lot of steps, but I've discovered that the little things, and maybe it's all in my head, but I feel like it's the little things here that really add to a drawing. I'm gonna grab the blend tool and I'm gonna just ever so gently blend out those lines in there that I made when I was throwing in this color. I don't wanna mix it too much as I still want a nice texture on there, but I am going to just try to get rid of those main lines in there. And I just do little strokes, really gentle little strokes. Okay, now we're gonna do one more thing to the shading part, the gradients part of this here. I'm gonna grab that light color again. I'm gonna make it even lighter. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger like this. And I'm, I'm gonna make this, I'm gonna change the layer mode on this. I'm gonna change it to add glow. And then I'm just gonna go through, it's gonna look like it's sticking out like a sore thumb. We're gonna fix that. Just going to ever so gently throw in some of this. Cause your hair, I feel like your hair's a little shiny. We're going to take that add glow layer and we're going to just pull the transparency down on it. And then I'm gonna hit it another time with this blend tool and just really kind of dole it down just a little bit, blend it in so that it doesn't stick out. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna create another layer on top of that. And then from here, from here, I really like to add in um, all of the shades first. I do shades and then I do highlights last. So I'm gonna grab the darkest part here, which the darkest part is probably like right there. And then I'm gonna pull it down just a little bit and make this just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to try to even this out a little bit, kind of keep it going. I'm gonna, I'll start over here on one side. I find that I start at the weirdest spots turn that do not exceed line of reference layer off so that we can get in there with some smoother lines. I'm gonna kind of add some of this. Sometimes I will make it just a little bit darker or a little bit lighter and I can do that after the fact as well. I want it to be dark. I don't want to be too dark. Li highlights are gonna go down the other side of this line. So I like to do, I like to kind of shake things up a little bit. If I'm not gonna put dark on dark, I'm not gonna put dark on this side of the line when I know that this is dark. So I'm gonna wanna kinda shake things up a little bit and um, get it kinda evened out a little bit better. I make sure that I don't make these lines too thick. I want it to accent the gradients, but I don't want it to take over the gradients. The shading is in. Now I'm gonna start the highlights, which has gotta be my favorite part of the hair. It's like the finishing touches of this that really makes it pop, in my opinion. I'm gonna go underneath that shade layer we just made, and that just makes things a little bit easier for me, and I'll show you in just a second. I'm gonna grab the lightest part, make it even just a little bit lighter. I'm even gonna make it just a little bit lighter than that. 
I'm gonna even make it lighter than that. Okay, you'll notice with this one here, there is no dark shade line on either side, and that's just because this is the middle of the hair, and it's kind of where the rubber meets the road on both sides, if you will. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. Sometimes I do things a little bit too bright or too dark and when it's done it just looks too light like this is just a little bit too light. So I can change that color one of two ways. I either can pull the transparency down just a little bit, which in this case would work, but for the sake of showing you both ways, I can go up here to the edit menu, call tonal correction. And there's a bunch of different things we can correct. I'm interested in the hue, saturation, and luminosity. And here, we can kind of, I mean, we could change the hue of it if we wanted to. That obviously, that's not necessary. We can bring that back to one. Uh, the saturation, if we want it to be just a little bit, I don't know. We can adjust absolutely everything. So anyway, you can change it that way. I think, I think for the sake of this one, we're just going to pull the transparency down just a little bit. Not just a barely. All right, so that is how I draw my hair in Manga Studio 5. If you have something that you'd like me to show you how I do, please let me know down in the comments and I just might do it. Leaving your love by liking, subscribing, and sharing with all your friends would mean so much. I really appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time.